So far, 189 cards! But, you know, it would have been 190 if I wouldn't have forgot that Mew and Arr, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go to... yes! Wait, 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 no, no, maybe the other fighting club member is somewhere else. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mitch is most certainly at the Fighting Club, which we haven't really explored, have we? Welcome, hello, welcome to the Fighting Club. Here at this club, we duel using fighting Pokémon. No dirty dueling is allowed. Only nice, clean duels are allowed in this club. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I was waiting for this guy to show up. <laughs> But I'll talk to the other guys first. I was just saying which Grandmaster is the best. I think Steve is the best player. The best player among the Grandmasters is Rod, since he's the leader of the Grandmasters. I see you play the Pokemon trading card game. I'm not into dueling, I prefer collecting the cards. By the way, would you happen to have Rapidash? If you do, I was wondering if you might give it to me. How about it? Mm -hmm. Do I have one? I think I do. Why? Well, well, let's see here. What happens if I give him that? You're welcome, you're welcome! Wait, you don't give me anything! You're welcome. Nah, it actually does give you something, but hold on. <laughs> if I were just a few years younger, I'd be dealing with you kids too. But anyway, I'll be back to him a little bit later. But first, this guy right here. See this? See this? See this? He is a legend! It is... Imakuni! We finally found him! <laughs> Huh? Who are you? Who, me? You don't know who I am? I'm the super musical star, Imakuri! I'll sing the poker app! You dance! La-di-da, 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 la-di-da! Hey, hey, hey! Move those feet! What? Cards? You wanna duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance! Why, yes, I would love to duel you! <laughs> Okay, a one-match duel at six prizes, uh, whatever that means. This is by, by far the weirdest guy and weirdest deck in the game, on purpose. <laughs> so, who is this guy? Well, he's Tamakai Imakuni, and he's done a bunch of stuff for the Pokemon trading card game, such as doing promos for it. Uh, he also did a little bit of music for the anime, and in most recent days, he also did a little bit of stuff for the uh, Pokemon Ranger series. Uh, he also did something of some Squirtle book thing, picture book, I forgot the name of it offhand, but yeah, he's done quite a bit more for the series than you might have known, and yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is like the introduction to Imakuni for most American audiences, or I should say out of Japan audiences in general. And yeah, I was kind of confused with basic Pokemon I wanted to slap out there at first, because I don't really have the best of hands, but it's decent enough. <laughs> uh, hopefully... Uh, ooh, Slowbro, hello. I was gonna say, hopefully I'll be able to get something that can involve my uh, buggers there. But anyway... Let's do a Psy Shock and hope for Paralysis! Oh! <laughs> uh, but it will be super effective because Psychic versus Psychic is weak, yeah. <laughs> and it looks like I may just win in a single turn unless he gets a bench Pokemon. Oh, well, not a single turn, excuse me, a, uh, a single prize card, excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of embarrassing for him because I'd like to really, you know, really actually show his deck off, but. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's not to be, at least right now. I will reduel him later, though. Um, he eventually he gives you a promo card if you beat him enough times, but he got just terribly, terribly unlucky here, and he didn't even get to see a signature card. <laughs> Um, well, he says he's gonna give you a booster pack, but he actually gives you four, one of each type. So don't tell him when I lost, okay? <laughs> so let's start with the Colosseum booster pack. No! Why? It just can't be. How many copies of these things do I have, anyway? <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, Dragon Arrow, that's nice! Oh yeah! The Hyper Beam is the thing you're gonna be playing it for, you know, double colorless energy. Discard energy cards, you know that's good, as you've seen the energy removal brokenness. Hello, energy removal. <laughs> it's nice to have extra copies so I don't have to swap cards out in uh, my decks and whatnot. 
Let's see here. Oh, Devolution Spray, a kind of interesting... Wait, I think I showed you that card before, but it's an interesting card. <laughs> um, uh, we're good. Both cards and dance, soul and rhythm are the secret! Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll become a poet! And then he leaves. <laughs> well, Imakuni there appears at this side of the clubs randomly every time you turn on the game. Like, if you if I were to turn off the game and then turn it back on, I would find him at another club. And then he starts appearing after you get so and so many master medals and whatnot, and well hmm it's I'm not exactly sure when, but <laughs> I just know he appears after a couple medals, and supposedly he doesn't appear at certain clubs. Uh, at least that's what some people said, because they'd never seen him at certain clubs, but that's a really hard thing to prove, uh, because, you know, he appears at clubs randomly, and if, if he just happens to not appear at a certain club one time, uh, you know, I should say all the time for someone, you know, it's not like the random number generator is made so that you don't get a certain Imakuni location. It just just happened to be that he never appeared there, so... Well, basically, if you want to find Imakuni, just reset your game every time you want to find him, and then go to this left side part of any club and see if he's there. If he's not, go to another club, etc, etc, until you find him. And uh, eventually, you'll be able to duel him until he gives you a promotional card. But anyway, I've babbled enough about the many variables of Imakuni, so let's go up to here! Because yeah, all those members that were scattered all over the place, they're here now. Uh, I just want to see what your dialogue is here really quick. Uh, it is a little bit different. Mm, nah, not right now. I've got, I've got the duel of death here with Mitch coming up here. Um, yeah, yeah. You're, you probably wouldn't defeat me, but anyway, I... <laughs> I am going to duel Mitch, and his deck is brutal. So, you have defeated all my pupils. Let's see if you have what it takes to inherit the legendary Pokémon cards. Okay, are you ready? No. What? Are you getting cold feet? Come see me when you finally work up enough nerves. <laughs> well, actually, what I mean by not ready is because I'd like to modify stuff here. Um, I, for I think I forgot to put in that other Mewtwo. Yes, I... I mean, yes, I did. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna plop that in there. And there we go. And let's do it. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Here we go. Mitch is, uh, well, it rhymes with his name. His deck, the first strike deck, extremely powerful deck. One of the most powerful decks in the game, actually. Oh boy, it's a Haymaker deck of doom, and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that Mewtwo I'm gonna have to save for later because I don't even have the psychic energy for it. But I guess I'll slap out coughing. I guess. And yeah, just just in case I get the evolutions and stuff, I'm gonna put everything out on the bench and see how things go. And uh, there's Jinx. There's a grass energy, and I'm done, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. He's got Hitmonlee, he's got an energy on Machop, he's gonna start wailing at my poor coughing. Yeah, he's got a lot of these one energy Tony Attack Pokemon, as you can plainly see on the deck list off to the side there. Uh, see, so he's got, well, even these are kind of, kind of beastly. <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't really have a, he doesn't really use Mankey for uh, Primeape, like he's only got one copy of Primeape. But I think he uses the Mankeys for prediction's sake, you know, to uh, pull cards out of his prizes or, uh, you know, see other people's hands and whatnot, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, I guess he's getting Hitmonlee raring to go here, but hopefully my good old coughing here will be able to stall him out. And this is unfortunate because I have a Grass Energy and all the other po Pokémon are Psychic and yeah! I guess I could slap it on Mewtwo because it's got the colorless and it's, Mewtwo is probably one of the best um, against this deck because it's just going to keep doing 40 damage turn after turn. Well, actually, I should say 80 damage turn after turn because, you know, their psychic weakness and whatnot. Uh, he might do a stretch kick or he might retreat. Yeah, stretch kick. Uh, he's going to attack Slowpoke. Yeah, stretch kick allows you to attack Pokemon on the bench. It's, so there's no escaping his deck of doom. Um, I guess I could plop it on Jinx. I know Jinx has a colorless attack too. Eh, confusion! Very nice! 
the other status effect. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I put the coughing line in here, because it's there's never a bad coin flip with the coughings. Even though it takes two energy for ten, it's just that it's it's such a useful attack that I figured it would oh god. I'm sorry, coughing! I tried my best! <laughs> well, I don't know what I should do now. <laughs> I guess Jinx, probably, because it only require one energy for uh, its attacks, providing I get a Psychic Energy eventually! Ah, yeah. oh, Gust of Wind. That's not very helpful. Nope. Uh, I guess I could stall out with uh, Slowbro by moving damage counter off of it, but as you can tell, yeah, I'm kind of stuck at the moment. But we'll see how things go, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't hurt me too badly. Oh, Professor Oak, thank you. Um, but maybe I want to use the Gust of Wind. Like, maybe on the Hitmonchan to throw, throw him off a little bit. Just to knock eight, uh, the HP down a few notches here. Because chances are I'm going to get the Psychic Energy card when I play Professor Oak here. Pretty good chance of that since I'm drawing seven cards. Uh, yep, there's the Psychic. And then, and then, and then, then. I guess I could get Pinsir ready. Uh, but wait, I only got one space on the bench. Ooh, ooh, why did I put so many slow pokes down? Ah! <laughs> well, chances are Jinx will be KO'd eventually, but uh, I don't really, I don't really have the evolution for Ekans anyway, so I'll just put down Pinsir and get that double slap off. Hopefully, two coin flips for heads. Oh. <laughs> It'd be nice to get two heads and then, you know, knock down Hitmonchan's HP pretty quickly. But, you know, Hitmonchan's still one of the best basics out there! Lots of HP, cheap attacks. It is a winner left and right. Okay, double slap. Slap, 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 slap! Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of funny. How do you miss with double slaps? I mean, you have to be within range of the Pokémon. To even do one slap. So how do you miss with other slaps? I'm kind of a, kind of mystified by that. <laughs> um, okay, and hopefully two heads. Here's one. Oh, 25% chance of that happening. I am pleased by that. So that gust of wind definitely got some uh, good use there. Although Jinx is still going to get knocked out by his haymaker deck of doom, but yeah. <laughs> See, so see, he does, that's what I mean about him peeking at cards in the field, just so he can predict stuff. But it's not super, super helpful, I think. Yeah, anyway, 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 should I put out Mewtwo or should I wait for another Psychic? Because I'd like uh, to put out Mewtwo and I have, like, maximum energy on it. Because, you know, he's going to probably go down pretty quickly thanks to his Haymaker Deck of Doom. Well, First Strike Deck of Doom, so I'm going to go with Pinsir instead. And just hope for the Iron Grip to paralyze. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, we're still. I mean, we're, we're equal in prize cards. And that's one of the powers of his deck is that he trades off cards a lot because of his high attack power. So it's, it's most certainly a game of math here of who can get stuff set up the best way they possibly can. And you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna use a Pokemon power of strange behavior. I'm gonna move yep, those right over there. And and I don't, I don't know if I should put another grass energy on Pinsir. I mean, I know I'm gonna be doing decent amounts of damage if I can get the uh, guillotine going, but you know. <laughs> high attack power again, because he's gonna come back with a high jump kick soon. And that's going to be a problem, <laughs> especially since his deck runs plus power, so that might, may have been a waste of energy. I kind of went on blind faith there. Okay, he's not he doesn't have a plus power right now, otherwise he most certainly would have used it. Alright, now I'm going to take advantage of that other slow bro in my hand since I put down somebody's slow poke. And what I'm going to do here is strange behavior, a few damage counters onto it. Uh, like that. I don't want to put it in the range of any stretch kicks, so I'm going to do that. Uh, no, I kind of have to. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's just the way the math goes. So, I guess I'll just... Oops, I'll pop those on that one. And... 
and 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 what I'm gonna try here is an iron grip rather than a guillotine. The reason why is because it's gonna paralyze it and prevent an, at uh, an attack, well, potentially for paralyze it and prevent an attack, because it's gonna take me two attacks to knock out Hitmonlee anyway, so I figured, eh, might as well try this anyway. And it worked, though. So no high jump kick for you, Mitch, the... Yes. <laughs> Abra and Gust of Wind... That could come in handy for the future. Plop that on there, and guillotine! DOOM! Alright, I'm got a little bit of prize leeway now, thanks to the strange behavior strategy. That's why I call this deck the damage control deck. Uh, just that I wasn't really getting the, the slow bro situations. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh no! Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's the weakness of Alakazam or slow bro, in that you gust of wind over to a Pokemon that you can easily knock out because you put damage counters onto them. Uh, energy removal is going to be completely useless this turn, <laughs> but I'll save it for the next turn because Machop's going down. Oh yeah. Now watch him gust of wind something else over <laughs> Oh god, I'm not Hitmonlee. It's probably going to switch. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, wait, don't I have a gust of wind? Uh, yes I do. <laughs> oh yes I do. That means I win. Um, first... Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna see what cards that I get here, and I can't believe I won against Mitch on my first shot. And I wasn't even really using many psychic attacks, and that was the whole point of building a, a part psychic deck, was, you know, to counter his Pokémon of Doom, you know, fighting Pokémon weak against psychic and whatnot. But, yeah! <laughs> Victory! Woo! Oh yeah! The final Master Medal is mine! <sighs> oh. Yeah! Huh. <laughs> Give me my black belt too! <laughs> Alright, I'll take the I'll take a booster pack instead. I can't really do much with a black belt, but I can do more with the booster packs in this place. Oh, fossil version of Magneton. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful, but its energy is more specific for its self-destruct. Like, you know, the regular Magneton is lightning, lightning, colorless, colorless for self-destruct, and it does 80, uh, but it also has more HP overall, so... And uh, Sonic Boom is rather interesting. Yeah, you can get piercing little defenses and yeah, stuff like that. Anyway, next booster pack. Uh, ooh, Polyrath, yes! A nice Pokemon if you can get it out thanks to Whirlpool. It's like Dragonair. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 I hope to duel someone like you again someday. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll happen. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.